Hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. So it's a pleasure serving you as usual. And I want to say it was a joy, an absolutely joy, going to the animal shelter this week. Uh, and uh, in case you missed the video, um, I had a live uh, showing a live show, not show. Yeah, a live show a couple of weeks ago, and um, I was um, gave out some questions, and the subscribers gave answers, and those who got the answers right won a cash prize. And to my surprise, my sub subscribers asked me to donate to my the money to uh, the donation of their choice. And so this week, I made a visit over to the uh, Humane, uh, Humane Society, which is an animal shelter in Lowell, Massachusetts. And you can go over and check that video out. And uh, the people were so happy to receive the subscribers' donation. They were just overjoyed. And I also matched it because I wanted to show my support and I was standing behind my subscribers. And so we all were united as one front. And I just really, really love the good feeling about that. My subscribers, talking about you, you know who you are. And um, you all were all happy about that. And the... And the um, animals we visit all the animals and um, checked them out and took pictures and that sort of thing it was just a joyous occasion and they said that they needed help uh, because uh, some of the animals need to go to the hospital and get treatment and that sort of thing so they have a great need for um, financial help volunteers etc so you can go on over and check out that video, okay, and uh, see if that's something that you'd be interested in, okay? And so to all of my wonderful, wonderful subscribers who donated and others, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so today I'm going to cook for you some spear ribs, okay? And I have some Cajun rub here. And I'm going to rub this Cajun rub all over the spare ribs. You know, um, Cajun has a distinct taste of its own. It's not like a regular season. It's, um, to me, it has a little kick to it. Uh, and I think that it's something that you would like. You could incorporate it in your meats okay Cajun rub so I'm gonna rub this all over the spare ribs we're gonna cook it in the oven for on 400 for about an hour and a half yes an hour and a half because I want to make sure that I break down all the fat and toughness of the spare ribs so that when you bite into them you can taste that Cajun flavor and it be nice and soft and juicy okay okay so let's get started all right thank you okay so here's a half a slab of spear ribs it's about eight bones okay enough for two people and so we're going to start right off with our seasoning. I have black pepper. I'd like to start introducing you to other seasonings that I have not been using on a regular basis so that we can kind of get the idea that seasonings is really what brings out the flavor of food. I did the garlic, ground garlic. Now I'm doing the kosher salt. Uh, 
Okay. Now I'm going to do my Cajun rub. So you see I'm putting it on, right? Now I'm going to take my hand and rub in. And then I'm going to put it on again. Take my hand and rub in. So as you can see, I'm putting quite a bit on. Okay? Now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm using the Cajun rub. Rub that in. I'm going to put it on again, but first I want to put my garlic. Black pepper. Salt. And again, Cajun rub. And the word rub do mean rub. So that means we're going to rub it in. Okay? So it gets all in there. I'm even rubbing the sides, as you can see. Okay? Okay. Now... put it in our pan. I have a, my pan here and I'm actually gonna put a little olive oil in the bottom of the pan. That's to get it started so that nothing's sticking. I only need to put a little as you can see because it's, it has its own fat so it's gonna the fat is going to melt and create more liquid. Okay? Okay. So now, I'm going to wrap that with aluminum foil. You definitely want to do that because you want to lock in the moistness. Okay, I actually think I would like to put... Okay, I don't know if you can see that down there or not, but it's... The water is right here. I would say that's all of four or five tablespoons of water. Okay, just a little. Okay, I put the four or five tablespoons of water in there because we want to make steam and keep those ribs moist. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to put it in the oven on 400. Okay, and we'll be back in an hour and a half. Thank you. Okay, guys. I'll, um... Spear ribs are done. I took the paper off so that I can now brown the top, okay? And while we're waiting on the ribs to um, brown on the top, we're going to make our homemade barbecue sauce, okay? So I'm going to be using ketchup. going to do three drops of mustard. One, two, three. Three drops of mustard. So apple side, I'm sorry, I didn't show you the ketchup. Mustard. Apple cider vinegar. We're going to count to three on the apple cider vinegar. One, two, three. Okay. Some 
uh, chiracha, which is hot sauce. You can leave this out if you don't like yours hot. Okay. That was just one or two squirts. That's up to you how much. Raw honey. The honey is a binding product that's going to make the barbecue sauce stick to the ribs. So let's mix that up. Okay, and that's our homemade barbecue sauce look. Okay, so to recap, you're going to use ketchup, mustard, uh, apple cider vinegar or regular vinegar, raw honey or sugar, and hot sauce if you want it hot. Okay, so now let me just taste that. Very good. I like it. That's my own homemade recipe for barbecue sauce. You might want to dot that down. Okay, so I'm going to take the ribs out and then we're going to I'm going to show you. Remember we put the rub on it? Look at that. Okay? All right. So now, I want to turn it over because I'm going to barbecue the bottom first. So let me put that up there so you can see. So I'm just going to turn the slab, half a slab of ribs over. That's what the other side looks like. Okay, now, let me get something here to put the sauce on. Okay, I'm just putting some on with a big spoon, and I'm just spreading it. Remember, we put Cajun rub on the ribs, okay? We rubbed it on both sides. We baked it for an hour and a half in the oven on 400. Okay, now I'm going to put the rest of the barbecue sauce on the top. And that's what it looks like. Now we're going to put it back in the oven for about five minutes for the barbecue sauce to harden a little bit on the top, okay? And I'll be back in five minutes. Thank you. Okay, guys, the ribs are out. Will you look at that? Oh, awesome, right? Okay, so... Let me um, take a taste and adjust the camera one second. Okay, let me get a thumbnail. Cajun ribs. Wow, guys, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now let me taste.
Here we go. Mmm. Tender and juicy. I don't even have to chew, really. Mmm. So good. Okay, guys, you try your Cajun ribs and try my homemade barbecue sauce that I showed you how to make tonight. Okay, until then, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.